and it was quite a trip in itself because he had the car there he'd smashed up and made into a like a metal square and the whole thing was that this particular period sham was at their peak and we were playing reading and the, the whole audience which is like relentlessly clapping for sham so as soon as we came on this this whole thing was like i knew was was something i'd never lived before and at the very end of it the, the last time we played was if the kids united and they were absolutely clapping and clapping and singing and clapping and six months before this i've been working in a wimpy bar and you've got <laughs> and you've got to imagine for me standing on this particular stage with people singing such a song as if the kids united and in their faces like lynn was saying there was 40,000 people drawing me in to them and yeah. I was being drawn yeah. myself into a whole feeling of never n knowing that I would never ever be in that situation ever again. Yeah. Yeah. It was one, one place I'd been that I would never go again. Now these tears weren't tears of depression, they were tears uh -huh. of relief uh -huh. and joy. Uh -huh. They were tears, yeah, yeah that, that you, could, you, you could never feel also again. Not like tears of despair of someone dying or someone being born. They were tears of a moment that you would never, ever feel again. Are you glad you shared them? Well, I've been listening to what everybody's been talking about because normally I'm a motor mouth and I'm off and I'm like, you know. <laughs> and actually this time around I'm listening to what everybody's saying because it's so interesting to get different perspectives from women and men about how they feel about crying. Because the one thing about crying is this. Firstly, you're, the, the, firstly you're right that it does release that situation of your life where you, you, you're not going to get diseases. And, dis and You see, most diseases anyway are caused by stress. Mm. And that stress if it's not broken down day in, day out, by the way you feel and, and, and releasing that pressure, because that's what it is, it's just like a, a kettle being put on, a, you know, on, a, on an oven and it gets to a certain temperature and if you either don't speak about it or don't cry or laugh, because laughing and crying are both the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Why, is it, why is it though that we have, I'm not, sorry, I'm not, no, 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 sure, uh, you, but I just wanted to throw to the audience, why it is we have this hang up about Vic men? It's a Victorian thing. Yeah. You yes. see, in Victorian yeah. times, it was also don't speak to the children. Yeah. It's also a class thing as well. Whichever way you want to look at it, there's certain values to English life. For instance, in England, someone of class distinction can look at you and make you feel this big. And that can leave you with a, a, a personal thing inside of you that there's something wrong with you, that you're, you don't fit in. It's a very English thing about crying and laughing anyway, because we're a country of the greatest c comedians, the best humour, but at the same time, we're a nation of people that are, 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 are neighbourly people. So therefore, if we lose that neighbourly instinct, which we are now starting to lose, that we're starting to break down our society. What do you think about down. men crying? You do. Go on, Jim. I think it's a very interesting point of what, um, when you were talking about, your, was it your husband? Yeah, your husband crying. I mean, this is a whole programme in itself. Because the strange thing about it is that when men and women are together as a relationship, if the woman is crying about something, the man asks, what's the matter? And yet when a man is crying in a relationship, <coughs> it's seen as a form of weakness to the relationship. I've got to leave it there yeah. because I, I want you all to uh, <coughs> join me in some <coughs> tears of joy, if you like.